<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Hello everybody, I hope you're doing great today. Just, um, yeah, as you can see, I've got one of my um, famous incense sticks, which they're now becoming um, massively used by the spiritual world, yoga, uh, mantras, um, retreats, um, and many psychics, healers are using them on a daily basis. This particular one is um, the awakening sticks, which are filled with, actually filled inside with Moldavite dust. And I can honestly tell you now, guys, that I am now purchasing Moldavite dust from um, jewelers who cut Moldavite to make them into beautiful, uh, I don't know, um, uh, jewelry and um, yeah, I don't know if you've seen them. I for some reason I've never been drawn or attracted to them. But they're the Moldavite little figures, uh, faces of uh, native Indians and uh, what lots of different types of Moldavite that they've never seemed to attract me. But the people who are making them are now selling me the dust, which is great. So yeah, I've just sent another load of dust to uh, Peru. And they're making me their next batch because we're nearly run out. Um, yeah, a little bit more expensive than any other. Uh, I think they're probably the most expensive uh, sticks uh, ever made. <laughs> I don't think nobody sells them uh, as much as my sticks, but that's because they've got Moldavite dust in, plus they've got the three most powerful and beautiful, well, four actually, but three of the most powerful uh, and perfect combination mixture of sage, Paolo Santo, and frankincense, and one other as well. But I'll keep that one to me. So, yeah, and wow, they work wonderful. Hey, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the Three Hours Bamboo Flute, uh, they're now uh, monetizing it. So there's adverts every few moments, so it's kind of spoiling it. But the good news is, because <laughs> it's now playing an advert, so I'm going to have to stop using that because it doesn't work now on my videos. So, yeah, I'm going to shut that off now. So now I'm uh, just... <laughs> it's funny how it all works out, right? This has never happened before. And uh, I met a beautiful man who's making my own music now, very similar to the bamboo flute. And uh, he works on a beautiful energy level. And also the hertz are very important for me. So everything's coming together. So I'll have my own music soon. So I'll be able to share that on this uh, channel all the time. So yeah, the sticks are important to me. I use my sticks as well as the cleansing negative energy sticks that I work with daily as well. Um, and yeah, cleanse my body. The reason why I'm using these particular sticks today is because it's an enlightening day. It really is. And I'm going to do some enlightening work with my crystals over there. I have some beautiful Moldavite trios, the last ones I'm working on, <clears throat> which uh, that's these. They're going like hotcakes. People are loving them. And now they're sending me messages daily of how they're working and how they don't need to do anything, which <laughs> for a lot of people, they prefer. <laughs> I like to do the work, but uh, a lot of people are saying, listen, I put it on and I can already feel the work being done. I, I don't really need to do anything. And that's exactly what I told you all, that this three combination, you don't really need to do much. It does the work for you and helps open you up. And thus I have my combination of trio, which is my most powerful three crystals in the world, which is Tektai, Moldavite, and Herkimer Diamond. I've got my sticks that I'm working with, and the oil that I'm working with today, believe it or not, is Moldavite oil. So all of these three, three things that I'm working with today are gonna help me and inspire me, and my first port of call is you. <laughs> of course it is. So what is today's subject? It's a really interesting one today, guys. It's a really interesting one. I'm just going to take this, put it in here for safety. I'm going to stick it underneath my seat, which is the perfect place because the smoke will then cover the whole of my body and it will keep the work going. It will keep my energy right. And hopefully I'll be able to give a good talk today and work on my uh, Moldavite trios for the day. 
I sat and had a, a coffee this morning in the village on my own, enjoying my time, you know, just observing and uh, contemplating, which many of us really don't have the time to do because of children, because of work. But hey, it's Sunday today, right? I believe. And it was really peaceful. And as I was contemplating life, I thought I'd do a Facebook Live and I talked about what I'm seeing right now, which a lot of us are seeing. The world is changing dramatically now. We are in the era of awakening. And it's beautiful. It really is. It can be a little bit scary for a lot of people. But hey ho, life goes on. No matter what happens, no matter what happens from this moment on, life continues. Whether you feel that you need the urge to push, uh, force, scream, shout, life still goes on. Always remember, guys, that if you're not here tomorrow, if you were to move into the light, life goes on. Your children, your family, your friends, life continues without you. Never worry. You are not the answer to change in the world, but you can be part of the answer to help the universe, the world, the cosmos raise its vibration. That's as much as we can do. For 16 years now, I've been telling people that you and only you have the power to change your world. You are incredible. You are powerful. You are the most powerful soul in this world. What you hold within you is ultimately the most powerful energy that nobody, and I mean nobody, could understand. I smiled this morning because I saw on social media um, a post. I don't know exactly how it went, but the post said that the Vatican has been holding information, which they always have done to suppress mankind, but it's been revealed now that the Vatican have held secret documents that has been passed down through generation to generation, which they concealed and put down in the catacombs. And basically what that information is, is that humanity, mankind, you hold superpowers. Oh, what's he talking about superpowers? Well, superpowers, if you want to put it in another way, that you have the ability that any other soul who you believe is enlightened, um, that you have. We all have superpowers. I tapped into my power 16 years ago and people laughed at me. People mocked me because they believed that what I was saying was utter nonsense. And the reason why is because of the reason that I, I read that the Vatican are responsible for suppressing and enslaving mankind. Any form of leaders, any form of religious leaders, any form of politicians do not want you to have power. Because if you have power, that takes away their power to control you. Therefore, any kind of um, psychopath, any kind of manipulating person who wants to control the many will do their utmost best to make you feel belittled, to take away any kind of power that you hold, will mock and suppress you and or do their utmost best to keep you running in circles and not knowing what to do and to steal your power by placing rules and regulations to stop you from being who you are. Yet, those very same people who place those rules, who enslave us, who tell us that we are not worthy, that we are all born to be sinners and we are sinners and to, to um, repent our life, all of these things are very cleverly put there to suppress you from actually looking in the direction which is over there. So we're looking over here or looking down instead of up and listening within to our great power. 16 years ago, I started sharing my truth about the amazing life of a psychic healer. And what that was, was I was starting to see things that I've never seen before. 
I started to, uh, when I say see things, I don't mean just around me, but within me and the feelings and uh, I can't explain. It's so difficult to explain, but the moments of magic, the moments of, did that really happen? Did I really say that? Did I really make a difference? Did I really help that person? Did I really help these people? And, and these things was, every time I kept saying, did I really do that? Was because of the bombardment from a child till 38 years old of a system telling me I was only good for one thing. That was to obey and pay my mortgage. When you step away from that system and you disregard it when you say this is nonsense this is a lie this is there to stop me from finding my own power you then start to see differently feel differently and life becomes amazing and you then touch the magic of the world so yes when i saw this article this morning i, I was like overjoyed i shared it on social media and said to all my friends no one has the power over you unless you allow them to and yes, we know that we are being suppressed. We know that we are being enslaved. But the choice is ours, whether we fall for that or whether we unlearn all of the programming that the schooling system, that our parents, that their parents and their parents were brainwashed to believe. So once you step out of that nonsense, when I point out there and say it's all wrong, and when I look in here and say this is all right, this is what I did 16 years ago. And therefore, I, the thousands of people that I was attuning to, feeling and resonating energies, feelings and sharing truth that is touching a, a, a fraction of what our greater power is by saying to them, wow, I feel this, I see this. And they'd say, They'd come back to me a week later, a month later, a year later, five years later and say, I mean, even last week I was on the streets in Marbella and a lady said, you don't know me, do you? And I said, I'm sorry, no. She said, you changed my life. You don't know what you did for me. And I go, really? Yeah, you changed my life. What happened to me after a reading with you changed my life. After a healing session with you changed my life. And I'm going, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. And we cuddled. I can't remember her, but we cuddled. But I could feel she meant every word of it. And I have messages, thousands of messages, of people saying after a healing session, after a pure energy healing session, their life changed. And that is so beautiful. For me, that is so beautiful that they found their power their, their truth, their ability, their gifts, their superpower. And we all have it, every one of us. So I spend my life now preparing crystals. I spend my life cleansing myself with my oils, with my incense. I prepare my year by doing courses. So in April, I'll be in North America, Toronto, um, in on Easter for people to spend four days of their life to change their life to understand who they are and their superpowers we all have them we all have this unique amazing ability when I say unique I mean that from the bottom of my heart because not no one person in that room who will sit there for four days stand up work with clients feel the energy not one of those people will have the same energy they will have a unique energy that will heal people in a unique way and this is what i help bring out pure energy healing practitioners are very individual to their own unique gift it isn't about symbols it isn't about listen to me do this it's about follow your power your inner superpower follow your healing gift and ability listen to you and I help people awaken that it's a gift that I hold now because I know that's my path and I know from the people who have said to me Mark after four days of being on a pure energy healing practitioners course my life changed it isn't me making stories up 
It is the feedback that gives me the truth that I know that in those four days, your life changes for the better, for the more powerful, to be the most amazing soul. So then you can walk a path and become that what you need to be. So the unlearning of the the four days of what you've experienced in life and then the new energy of trust and belief in your power, that then creates the spark, the inner flame that then becomes the real you. That you that's always been in there but never had quite that moment of awakening power. So I'm so happy to be able to do two courses this year. I really am. I'm excited. And yes, yes, guys, we're filling up like mad. The two courses, one in April in uh, Toronto and the other one in Benavis in um, Spain, which is in, I think, June. I don't know that, that you have to go to www. Um, pureenergyhealingacademy.com everything's there if you want to come please do and if not don't worry I will share vital information this year with you of how to help you step by step it's never as powerful uh, as a four day course but I will give you snippets to be able to work on yourself and heal yourself I'll give you the tools I'll give you the understanding I will help you with all my heart believe in yourself, trust in your inner power and how to work with clients as well as yourself. The most important thing right now is to believe in yourself. The most important thing in 2020 right now is to stop fighting. The most important thing right now is to cleanse and heal yourself of your past programming. And that's what we're going to do every single day from now on with the help of my friends like Ajahn, with the help of understanding of the spirit world, which we will connect with, with the help with the tools that we work with, we will overcome fear. We will clear away the system that has no meaning at all anymore. And we will become our greatest healer. We will become the greatest power and we will find our true purpose in life. We will find the meaning for our life. And that's what 2020 is all about. I'm here to help you every day as much as I can. I'll answer your questions as I always have done as best as I can. I will make videos daily as best as I can if I'm well and fit. I will do my utmost to help you as you help me. So that's it, guys. I think my message today was about the truth that's been suppressed Uh, hijacked we are now awakening to that health is important happiness important the people we're surrounded with important our own understanding of life the path the journey is always there we are always walking it it is the flow of life it is every single breath you take it is every single step you make As long as you keep saying to yourself, where I am right now is where I'm meant to be. Whether that is a challenge, whether that is amazing, whether that is sad, it doesn't matter. They are just emotions and part of the journey. Each step you take is taking you to exactly where you need to be. This suffering that we go through makes us the stronger soul. The suffering that we go through makes us the best teacher in the world. The suffering that we go through creates the wisdom that helps us move forward to be able to then conquer any situation in our life. I always say to people, would you rather not feel anything and just listen to other people's pain and suffering and what they've been through to say, look at me now and say, well, actually, I haven't really felt anything. I just sort of walk a life and don't really know what you're talking about. Or do you want to say, yeah, I felt that. I understand that. I know that feeling. And hey, guess what? This might help you because when I went through that, this is what happened. And this is how it helped me along the journey heal. And then somebody go, wow, thank you for that. And that's exactly why I know now that from being born, from being hurt, from the challenges, from the pain, from the suffering, from the loss of my family that I loved who are now in spirit, 
I am now the stronger soul to be able to share my truth that helps us all daily. And that's what life is about. So if you're going through suffering right now, remember, you must be a lion because only lions go through the greatest suffering in this world. So remember, no one has the power over you. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Today, let it go. Become the power. Become the teacher. Become your own guru. From my heart to yours, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Be amazing and share your truth. That really makes a difference in the world. Share your truth because it's so important in this world. More important than you could possibly imagine. Every single word you say, which comes from the heart, every single word, every single letter you write, every time you type a message, it is the most vital and important energy to raise the vibration in this world to help heal and awaken the world. Don't you dare stop writing when you think it's not valid. It's valid. It is valid. It is so valid. You have no idea. So don't stop writing. Don't stop sharing. As long as it comes from a pure heart filled with love and kindness and always be aware of how you share your wisdom how you how you do it in a caring manner, a loving manner. That's important. That's the balance. So have a great day, guys. And I hope to see you on one of the two courses this year in Toronto and Spain. Take care, guys. We're going to have an absolute blast. It's going to be amazing. Take care. See you soon.